What up, Patriots? Just getting some tweets out, getting some stuff set up. Got some points this year. We'll be buying some bundles. Gonna do some set discussions. Man, thanks. That uh, that means a lot, dude. Um, noise. Yeah, I was out of town. Um, actually, just got married last Saturday. Was gone on my honeymoon. Just got home last night. Started up the Mutt Squad. Um, hopefully, my team will jump a little bit after I do this video today. But uh, we did pull the Antonio Brown last night. I'll have a video up on YouTube if you want to check it out uh, of what I did last night. Um, just open some stuff up. Start it out. Uh, got a Witherspoon. Got the ET3 and the Jared Allen. Hopefully moving him to right end. Uh, we picked Man, so we got the Tra Waynes. Booyah! Give me uh, like 30 seconds here. I'm going to grab a drink of this water and uh, collect my thoughts. I'm going to start some set discussions. I'm getting some pack openings. Who's uh do you have any elites yet? Who who are your star players? Oh man, I'm 31. Old balls. Been playing Madden since uh, like 95. Uh, I didn't really get into it until college though. Um, geez, like 04 maybe, 05. Me and my college roommates used to do uh, the fantasy draft seasons all the time. So we'd each, uh, two of us would have teams in the AFC and two of us would have teams in the NFC. Yeah, I'm talking to you about elites. You're an 81. I don't know. I got a 90, and my team's only a 74. Nice. Who uh who did you pull from that pack? And and how many draft champions did you have to play to get the ten coins? I, I have a team got thinner in, played a game last night and won. All right, I'm going to get into my video here. Uh, I'm going to do a little YouTube video, so sorry if I'm not immediately responsive to you. Um, what's up, everybody? Eber42 here, back with some Madden 16 set discussion for you guys. Today we're going to talk about some of the sets that are available early on, which ones I think are going to be the most profitable, uh, how I'm going to go about tackling these, and um, just all that fun stuff. So to find the sets, you go over to Items, Sets, bam, pretty easy. Uh, I'm going to start out with these Redemption sets. Uh, I just got into the game last night, did a little research. Uh, I do have some of these loyalty badges. You definitely want to go in and get your loyalty player pack. I did this on some of my farm teams last night. Uh, I got an 84 Reggie Bush, uh, an 82 cornerback from the Jets, I forget who. And then I got uh, a lower 80s Monte Teo, middle linebacker. So all those players are going to be great on my farm teams. Oh, 84 Reggie Bush. Booyah. This card's sweet. 
So you guys make sure you go in and get these. I was going to open this later, but oh well, screw it. Um, so yeah, that's awesome. That's the card I was hoping to get. Uh, that cornerback would have been pretty cool too, but ooh, that bush, he's going to be fun. Uh, spend the rest of them on these loyalty gift packs. That's what I'm going to go do quick. Don't waste them on all these silver players. Whatever you open up with your loyalty is bind on account, so you can't trade them or sell them or anything. So with these, you do get team collectibles, the four team items, and you can auction those. So you can sell the coaches, the stadiums, uh, all those fun things. So we're going to open all these later. You guys might notice I got some points this season. We will be uh, purchasing a couple of the All Pro bundles. Cracking those after I get done with this. So there we go. Uh, spend the rest of those on the loyalty gift packs. Uh, don't spend any on these contract packs. I'm going to show you guys. There's a solo you can do to get a ton of contracts. Um, and then yeah, do your do your intro stuff. Get this get this one here. Next, we're gonna hop over to the vault for you guys. There's some really cool draft champion sets in here. I wouldn't do any of the sets before these, but you can get the double elite. Uh, if you're gonna do these, I'd do them early. Uh, I think the cheapest elite is like 20k right now. So you can get some good coins off these if you are doing the team no money spent route. Otherwise, if you wanna save up 100 of the badges, you can get some pretty sweet players. I'm excited for this AP and this Patrick Peterson personally. These are repeatable. So people are going to do these a bunch of times. These guys will be flooded all over the market. Within, you know, by the Super Bowl, they're going to be super cheap. They're probably going to be even cheaper, you know, by Christmas. So if you want to make some coins off this, I suggest doing these early. Uh, draft Champions is pretty fun. You get to go play with some of the higher end players. You don't have to spend money or coins or anything to get them. You can see how they play and feel to get an idea of what you want to go after on your Mutt team. And you can get some pretty sick Mutt players while you do it. Again, don't do the quick sells. They're a waste of coins. If you're doing team no money spent, definitely do not do those. Moving on, we're going to go over to the warehouse real quick. Uh, there's a lot of these sets. All I'll say is this. Plan on getting bronze badges for all of these. So in a three badge pack, you're going to get three bronze badges. They're selling for 2,000 right now. So you're going to get a 6,000 coin return on this. If you can buy, I think you can get most of the stadiums around 200 coins right now. So it's kind of a wash and you're going to lose 10%. I wouldn't do that. Uh, the rest of these cost more to get the four badge packs. Again, just sell the items, take the coins that way. Don't do any uh, of these unless the coin, unless for some reason badges spike in price and bronze badges go way up. Then by all means do these, but do some math when you're looking at these. They also have these new ones this year. Team players, these expire on October 11th. I would recommend selling any of these players that you have if your team no money spent. I think it'll put a little bit more demand on these guys. So um, I'm not going to do these sets. It's a lot of players. They expire. Don't put the items in here unless you have all of them because you'll probably just lose them come October 11th. Um, and I do think that this might put the price up on some of these a little bit more. And it's just badge packs. So, I mean, yeah, it's a 10 badge pack. You're probably going to get, you know, at least a silver or gold out of there. Uh, but if we look at what these players are going for right now, Cutler's pretty cheap even, you know, and a buy now on him is like 4,000, 5,000, 4,000. It's early in Mutt, there's some threes. But still, I, I wouldn't waste coins on doing this stuff. Back out of here and we head over, we can see the coin up and captains is the first things in the 
sets here. I would definitely do the solos to do these coin ups. You can get a lot of coins from doing these. Um, just go with whatever team's favored most of the time. You're probably going to make good coins that way. On on the the bonuses, you know, go with your gut. That's what I would say. Uh, I haven't even looked at these. Raiders rush for 150 plus. A rushing touchdown. Yeah, you know, you could probably just be safe and go for the lowest ones. If if you really think that these are going to happen, I mean, that's a lot of coins. But I would probably just go on the safer side and try to rack up some coins every week. You know, if you can get 7,500 coins from picking the right team and getting this lowest one, that that's a nice little you know, weekly coin purse for you. Uh, I'll show you where those solos are at in a second. Captains, I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on Mutthead to see what these look like. But I think there's going to be a lot of coins to be made on a couple of these. Um... This Kaepernick, I think, is going to be pretty uh, a pretty good one to try to complete and sell early on. The Giants one with this 90 DRC. Uh, I'm going to go after this guy to keep on the on the squad, but you know, great guy to go after to sell. Uh, go look at Mutthead and see what all the guys in here cost and what the guys are selling for. I'm sure there's some of these that you can do for a profit. And I will probably be doing some more videos later on to point some of those out to you guys. Again, uh, give me a follow if you're watching live on Twitch to know when I come on to do some of these uh, videos in the future. If you're watching on YouTube, go ahead and smash that subscribe button to know when I come out with these videos. For these, you do need these captain tokens. And I'm going to show you guys right now uh, how you can go get those. So we're going to step out of the sets for a moment and head over to the solos. Can do uh, just a real quick touch on a couple of these. There are these. There's weekly. I want to point these out. You can do the coin ups in here every week. I'd suggest playing these games. And then for the team, no money spent. This is huge. They have these big contracts. I would definitely do a couple of these early on. Uh, you know, try to get like a thousand contracts in your bank after the first couple weeks here, and uh, you won't have to worry about it. It's really nice. You shouldn't have to spend coins on contracts this season at all. It was probably one of the biggest complaints they heard. So it's sweet that they put uh, these solos in here. Props to EA for that. I know we bash on EA a lot, but. Um, they made a lot of money on Mutt. I'm glad they listened and put these contract solos in here for us. Uh, Madden Movie. Uh, I will definitely be doing these. That coach looks pretty sweet. I'm going to try to pick him up. Um, definitely don't have to do that. Uh, you, I think you can sell these, so you might be able to do these. Hit the auction house with the items that you get for them. You can only do two solos, and you need four of the collection, so I'm just assuming you can hit the auction house with these two. Um, but there's coins to be made on the weekly solos. So if, if you're looking for coins, uh, this is a good place to look to get some of these things done. They have these NFL Journey. I did one of these last night. A lot of these are moments um you know there's six seconds left in the fourth quarter on this one uh the start of the second half so this one's a little longer the one i did last night there was like under a minute left in so i think you can crank through these pretty quick and once you get up to the veteran level you start getting the captain badge packs so from veteran on all the way down to the you know through elite you can see in here, Captain Badge Packs, um, down to the Ultimate. You're going to be rewarded with these Captain Badge Packs that you need to do the Captain sets. So because of that, I feel like there's going to be less Captains out this season because it's kind of more of a grind to get them than it was last season. Uh, I'm going to crank through some of these. If your team no money spent, uh, I might suggest that too just because I feel like they're quick. There's not a lot of coins, but you do get these packs. They can help out with your squad early on when you're trying to build that base team. Um, and like I said, I think you can get through them pretty quick. On the flip side, we have another gauntlet. 132 games. And these are just straight games, man. It's a lot of games to grind. Uh, you get some rookie packs. The coin rewards start out really low on these. They build very slowly. Um, the, the final one for each little tier does have uh, some pretty good rewards. 
And I wanted to point this out because if you do happen to complete all of these, so the jump's pretty good for the last one in each set, and if we go down to the very last one, you get a pretty sweet reward for it. I have to go this way. So if it would let me just go back. I think it's like some huge bundle of like, yeah, you get a game changer pack here and then you get, um, maybe it's the one before it, you get like a game changer bundle. Um, so you get some really sweet rewards for these. It's a lot of games to play. Uh, I'm assuming the end is going to be pretty difficult. Um, but I wanted to point those out before I go back into the sets. And then again, they have styles. And um, I'll do these. I enjoyed doing these last season. I will definitely do those again this season. I'm going to try to get them down a little earlier. And I wanted to point these out because now we're going to head back into the sets, bring the conversation back to what we were talking about before, and show you why we pointed out those solos. If you head over into the master, um, you can see we have style masters. You get rewarded with a 92 overall Tony Romo and a 92 all, all overall uh Glover Quinn, sorry if I butchered his first name. Uh, anyway, I'm going to try to get these done. Either keep those guys on the squad or hit it on the auction house to make some coins off those early. If you remember, the, the Keekly and the Manning from last year started out at like half a million. and By the end, you could buy them each for like 30,000 coins. So these guys will definitely get flooded on the market and their price is going to go down. Um, if you look, there's this Gauntlet Master. So I wanted to point the Gauntlet out because you get rewards when you do it to do this set and the rewards at 99 beast mode marshawn lynch it's so crazy um it's just freaking like you're gonna get all these rewards for doing the gauntlet and then if you complete it you get a 99 beast mode again i think a lot of people are gonna do this on farm accounts a lot of people are gonna do this and that card will get flooded on the market um I don't know what it's going to start out at. I would assume like a million coins for the first couple ones, maybe even more. Um, but it'll be, you know, 500k. If, if they come out with a halfway decent um, Barry Sanders for Thanksgiving like they normally do, this card will drop a lot then. So if, if you can get this done before Thanksgiving and sell the card, I think you'll make a ton of coins off of it. And then, of course, there's Mutt Master. You pretty much have to do all of this stuff that I pointed out and all the other things. All the Captains, all the Gauntlet Masters, Style Masters, all that stuff. You get a 99. Odell Beckham Jr. This card's going to be worth crazy amounts of money early on. Um, you know, the first couple people that'll do this, you get a half a million coins. You can easily sell that cover card for two million if you're the first one that does it. And, you know, it's a grind, but it'll be worth it. If you want to do it on a smart level, last season in Mutt 15, the best time to do this was around the Super Bowl. Uh, all the gold players that go into the captain sets were really cheap then. I'm assuming the same thing is going to happen this season. Once we get, we m we'll probably get some Road to the Playoffs type content release, all these Team of the Week, stuff like that. So a lot of those base players will go down. So they were the cheapest then, and then after the Super Bowl, those cards start to go up a little bit. Oh, and I just had one of the guys in my chat point out that you get the captain badges in all levels of the journey. I haven't opened too many of those yet, so. And this gauntlet only gives you five, so there's going to have to be a gauntlet later to get the lynch. But either way, that 99 lynch is going to be freaking awesome whenever you can get them. So it sounds like you're going to have to wait for a second round of gauntlets to come out to get that. So um, so that's my analysis of the sets. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go play the solos to do the journey so I can get some of these captain sets done and try to make some coins off those, keep a couple of those guys from my squad. Um, definitely going to try to do the coin ups every week. Um, go get your redemption packs and sets done as soon as possible if you already haven't and start the grind towards some of these masters because the rewards on these are great this season um, thanks everyone for stopping by again Ebert42 
Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you like the video, smash that subscribe button. If you're watching on Twitch, hit the follow to know when I'm coming out with some more videos. Everybody go follow me on Twitter. My handle is ebert underscore 42. And then if you want to, you can head over to the Mutthead website and you can search for my profile there. It's ebert42. You can give me a follow. I do a lot of posting on there with tips about the market and answering people's questions. Um, you can send me messages if you have any on there. So um, I'll be back with some more Team No Money Spent tips for you guys this season like I was last time. I'll be doing some giveaways this year. have a lot of gameplay for you guys, some draft champions, some mutt stuff, um, all that awesome stuff. So if you're watching on YouTube, um, Big Heart, thanks for stopping by, guys, and we will check you next time. If you're watching on Twitch, stick around. We're going to do some pack openings. Um, just going to update the title here. Yeah, man. Thanks, Patriots, for all the uh, all the tips on all that stuff. I haven't played. Like I said, I've only played one game so far. So um, there's good stuff to add to that. Boom. Ooh, Nagata, that'd be sweet. Hilton, uh, I'm not so sure about. Um, he'd probably be sweet for like deep threat and some nice under like drags and stuff like that. Never been a fan of Hilton in in uh, the Maddens lately. Speed used to kill in the game, but it doesn't really seem that way um, as of late. Like I said, I haven't played much in this game, so it could be it could have changed. You know, they nerfed a lot of the speeds, so. Alright, we're going to do another uh, YouTube video for these pack openings, so um, go ahead, snake a couple of these, bam. Oh, I got that Reggie Bush, it was sweet. Yeah, that's my plan. Uh, after I finish up these videos, I'm going to go grab some food um, and then just grind out some of that journey stuff. Might hop on and stream for that. Uh, if you want me to, uh, I will. Let me know. Uh, greetings to uh, the other viewer, Lurker. Um, I know someone else is in here. Whoa. Fairy of Mars, welcome, welcome. Thanks for stopping by, man. Bow, 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 bow. All right, what's up, everybody? Eber42 here, back with some more Madden 16. Going to get into some pack openings for you guys. Going to open up my rewards packs. Picked up two of the All Pro bundles. We're going to crank through those quick. So, uh, fingers crossed. Looking for some red paint. Ooh, we got a Desmond Bryant. Barry Coyfield, nothing too exciting there. On to the next one. Bam. Remember for uh, Team No Money Spent, if you're doing your uh, rewards openings, you can sell all the playbooks and stadiums. Make sure you do that. About a lower tier gold so far. Getting a couple golds in each of these, which is nice. Um, these guys are bind on account, um, aka you cannot trade or auction them uh, for the rewards packs. The loyalty gift packs that is come on rip paint oh, 75 mil linebacker I got one more left I believe Bam. kicker this guy's got a boot doesn't he kick power 96 I am completely fine with opening that car he will probably be my kicker for most of mutt 
So it's completely fine that I can't sell him. Got a left guard, lower 80s. Pretty nice. Another gift pack. Boom. A lot of lower tier middle linebackers. Right outside linebacker. Mystery box topper. Boom. 830. All right. That's in a couple of days here. Um, going to back out of here. And we're going to get into the all pro packs now. All right. So these have three gold or higher, uh, silver badger higher. Um, and then four other items, I believe. So we are looking for some red paint. Drum roll, please. Red paint. Show me that red paint. Ruben. Played with this guy. 94 strength. 81 block shed. We'll keep him on the line. 87 play rack. Bam. Teddy Bridgewater, freaking sweet. Um, we did pick up a Kaepernick. Oh, that's awesome. Bridgewater is too better than Kaepernick's gold. Ha. Uh, Kaepernick does have a team captain, though. So um, throw power is a little lower, but uh, looks like pretty much all the accuracies are higher. That's pretty cool. Excited about that. Hometown fan. And 75 right outside linebacker. All right, on to the next one. Red paint. Give me some red paint. Donald Brown. Greg Hardy. Brandon Spikes. All the middle linebackers. Here we go. Red paint. Red paint. Should probably wait to open some of these till Saturday or something when there's some bonus awesome players out. We'll try going backwards on the next one. Got a Nick Farley. Oh, Red Pert! What up? Booyah! He's more of a 3-4 guy, but... Oh, and he even goes in the Titans captain set. Yes! Booyah! Let's take a look at him here. 91 strength, 89 block shot, 90 tackle, 92 power move. Yeah, we'll let him sit on our line for a little while. We'll let him sit on our line for a little while. Probably end up doing the set at some point in time since we pulled him. And we got a Farley with it. 90 strength, 92 power move, 86 block shot. Really low play recognition, but... 88 Pursuit. It was a nice pack. Nice pack. Red Paint Hype. Got a badge. Boom. Oh, we only got one gold letter higher left. Give me some red paint. Can't win on all of them. You know, oh, we got four golds in that one, though. We'll take that. We'll take that. This guy... I had some decent Team of the Week cards in the last month. Eh, not the greatest. Not the greatest. Next pack. A little Fred Davis action there. Oh, gold badge. We'll take that. We'll be hitting up the market with all of these silver and gold badges, putting some coins in the coffers from those. We'll take a Taylor Luan for the line. It's a nice way to build up uh, a decent amount of golds for the start of your squad. I will say that, even if they are in the high 70s, tight end. Come on, give me some red paint. How many of these we got left here? Six left. So that was one bundle. Not bad. Not bad. We're going to back out. A little bit of luck here. Hop back in. 
We're going to save the box topper for the end. Crank through these six here for you guys. Go really quick on this one. Red paint, red paint, come on, red paint, no red paint, no red paint. Oh, what did we get? Got D'Amico, Michael Johnson, who? All right, not bad, not bad. Give me some red paint, one more red paint. Give me, hey, Leon Hall, get some cornerbacks. Give me some red paint, cornerback, red paint. Toby Gerhardt, oh, blah, blah. Good luck for the next pack, hopefully. Give me some red paint. Get all the bad ones out of the way. Red paint. Oh, another Gerhardt. All the Gerhardts. EJ Gaines. All right. <sighs> Got to get some better luck in these last couple packs, man. Get some better luck. Get, show me some more red paint. Got one elite out of there so far. All right, I think we got our last pack here. Dun, 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 dun. Come on, give me some red paint. Give me some red paint. Oh, we got a pro pack redemption. Pro pack redemption. Back up here. Pro pack. Pro pack. All right. Pro pack hype. Give me some red paint in this one. Byron Maxwell. Hey, man. It's not horrible. Stacking up some cornerbacks here. Yeah, he might see. He might see some play. He might see some play. All right. Got one more pro pack left. Show me that hype. Oh, red paint off the start. Petonio, yes. He's on the squad. He goes in another captain set. Red paint hype. Look at that run blocking. 84 impact. This guy will definitely be on the squad. 83 strength. Ah, I wish I could be a little bit higher. He was a beast in the last game, though. Beast. Can we get double red paint in this pack? Am I just being greedy? Am I being too greedy? Rodney Hudson. Don't want to be too greedy, but I mean double red paint. Lee Smith, tight end. All right. All right, our last item, another mystery box topper. Give me something good. Give me something good. 829. Have any of these opened yet? Uh, one up opens on Saturday. So one that opens on Saturday, one that opens on Sunday. All right, so there's the packs. There's the packs. Got two red paints in there. Pretty happy with that. Let's see what that does to the squad here quick. Again, Eber42, thanks for stopping by, guys, uh, for checking me out on YouTube. Uh, make sure you hit the like button if you liked what you saw. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see me uh, get notifications when I come out with some new videos for uh, Team No Money Spent stuff, some giveaways, some pack openings gameplay all that good fun stuff got the squad up to an 82 with that if you guys are watching on twitch make sure you hit that follow button if it's your first time here everybody go follow me on twitter at ebert underscore 42 and feel free to stop by mutthead um check me out there ebert 42 you can follow me to get notified when i'm making posts talking about uh, market stuff and all that fun jazz so Pretty happy with what we got rolling so far. Gonna get in, um, snake through some solos. I mean, the squad's pretty much all golds after that. Cannot complain. And uh, bronze punter, because I mean, who punts, right? Right? 
Ah, kid, I kid. All right, thanks everyone for stopping by. Uh, Eber42, uh, signing out. Uh, for the guys on Twitch, uh, I was just ending my YouTube video there. Man, Got cap and bridge. We have to go look at uh, some of these guys to sell. Definitely have some players to hit the market up with here. I'm gonna sell some of these playbooks. Got all sorts of items now. All sorts. 250. Try to get those numbers down a little bit here. 147 players. 38 bronze. Yeah, I'm probably going to just go through, do some binder clean out here, post some stuff on the auction house. Um, won't be too exciting for you guys. I'm going to grab some food while I do this. Um, might be back on in a couple hours. Um, so thanks, guys, for stopping by. Uh, here, uh, real quick, though, before I do that, I'll show you this draft champions team I got put together. Uh, I did this during my pre-release time. Uh, I played one game last night. Um, but we got Romo, Julio Jones, Finneran, Forsett, Peters, Silver, yeah, it's a uh, pretty potent offense. We got Kiko, Doomerville, picked up a Quinn, Pat Pete, Aaron Donald, Geno Akins. Got Cam on the left end. And, uh, Browner and Williams. I should maybe almost flip these guys. But yeah, our game was fun last night. Bar. Yeah, I want to get Bar. I've heard good things about him. But yeah, the draft champions was, was pretty fun. So would you say, Patriots, if you if I win like all four of those, I pretty much get ten badges. You gotta do two of them to get 10 badges. <laughs> yeah, draft champions. Wish that was a farm account with Finneran. Oh, that'd be sweet. That'd be, sw that'd be awesome. Got one of these. No idea. Five, sixteen. Mystery box one. This is the one I want. It looks like it's a bunch of packs though. There we pick up that strength I'm looking for. Great run blocking. Pass blocking is just not. Betonio's a little more rounded. Oh, impact blocking. Yeah, I'll probably pick up Ayupati. 
at some point, but not now. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I hate how it doesn't stay sorted properly. JPP's at 28. I was looking for one of these. Oh, see. Card looks sweet. 92 play rack. are going for 250 the Wilkerson this card's normally sick Uh, I just opened the packs, Patriots. That's why I'm looking at uh, if I want to sell that dude right now. What I can get for him. Okay, so I have Jarrell Casey. Casey used to be a D tackle. I don't even know what I want to buy. 75, wow. Trufa Smith. Let's go check these guys all out on Mutthead. Fonte did me well last year. Did me real well. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by, man. I gotta go grab some food. Um, I'll probably be back on in a little bit. Sorry to the new guy, just stopped in. Uh, young kid, 35. Um, just got done talking about sets, doing some pack openings. We opened uh, opened a couple of elites. Probably be hitting the auction house with those. Trying to build the squad elsewhere. Uh, we opened this Betonio and this Casey. I'm thinking we'll pretty much for sure be moving the Casey, putting a Jared Allen up here. Not sure, for sure. Anyway, going to boogie. Uh, appreciate you guys stopping by. Uh, and we will uh, catch you all later.